it's 1017. Let's just get one more thing in. It's going to just be one more thing in. This is going to be Numbers chapter 26. The entire thing. Let's get into it. The second census. Ah, oh, we're still in a census here. Who knows how this is going to happen? After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and Elizur, son of Aaron, the priest, Take a census of the whole Israelite community by families, all those twenty years old or more who are able to serve in the army of Israel. So, on the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, across from Jericho, Moses and Elijah the priest spoke with them and said, Take, take a census of the men twenty years old or more, as the Lord commanded Moses. Why just the men? Well, I think they just want to know how big an army is. That's really all they care about back then. Whatever. It's the past. What is used to getting angry over the past? Nothing. You're just getting angry. You're laying things in the past anger you today. Yeah, that doesn't... Anyway. These were the Israelites who came out of Egypt. The descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, were. Also, I'm not doing spell anything for you, sorry. Through. Hanok, the Hanite clan. Polo, the Polite clan. Through Hezron, the Hezronite clan. Through Camerai. The Camerite clan. These were the clans of Reuben. Those numbered forty-three thousand seven hundred and seventy and seven hundred and thirty. Not seven hundred seventy. Forty-three thousand seven hundred and thirty. Anyway, still have a lot to go. The sons of Palu was the son of Palu was Elabiah. The son of Elabiah was Nimel. Also put in some subtitles, it's only funny what YouTube is thinking I'm saying. Dennis and Ebrahim. The same Dennis and Ebrahim who no and Ebrahim were the community officials who rebelled against Moses and Aaron and were among Korah's followers when they rebelled against the Lord. The earth opened up the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them along with Korah whose flower, foul, flop, followers died when the fire devoured 250 men and they served as a warning Sign. See, I told you before in previous video that people were warned. The line of Korah, however, did not die out. <clears throat> so, to any of you who think all the kids were killed or something, no. Anyway, the descendants of Simeon by their clans were through Nimel, the Nimelite. Clan through Jimin, the Jiminite clan, through Jackin, the Jackinite clan, through Zera, the Zeranite clan, through Shol, the Sholalite clan. These were the clans of Simeon, those numbered were twenty two thousand two hundred. So less than less than Reuben. The descendants of Gad by their clans were through Zephon, the Zephonite clan, through Haggai, the Haggai clan, through Shunite, the Shunite clan. Is it Ike? Yeah, it's always Ike. 
I don't know why, just always I, I'm not saying they're strong. Through Ozine, the Ozanite clan, through Arii, the Arite clan, through Ordei, Sumerian Pentateuch and Sumeric, also see Genesis 4616, Mosaic text, Arad, okay, Arad, I, anyway. The Arite clan through Ariel, the Arielite clan. These were the clans of Gad. Those numbered were 4,500. Ur and Oan were sons of Judah, but they died in Canaan. <laughs> Thanks for that information. Like, oh, some of these lines must be let out. Sometimes they don't, I guess. Yeah. Oh, there's no point to this comment. The descendants of Judah by their clans were Shemela, through the Shemelite clan, through Prezza, the Prezzalite clan, through Zerai, the Zerite clan, the descendants of Prez, through Hezron, the Hezrite clan, through Himmel, the Himmelite clan. So what kind of Jew are you? I don't know. <laughs> that was stupid. These were the clans of Judah. Those numbered were 76,500. Yeah, Judah's the biggest clan. Just in case you're wondering. The descendants of Issachar by their clans were through Tola, the Tolaite clan, through Pura, the Purite clan? Wait, why is there a B? Samaritan Pentachart, Septuagint, Vulgate, and Cyrillic, no, Sagariot. Uh, see also, first Chronicles, no, wait, that's Corinthians. Wait, or Chronicles. 7 1 Mosaic text, oh, probably Chronicles, yeah, through P U V A H, the Punite clan. Punite. Hmm. Anyway. Let's see. I don't know why I get Corinthians and Chronicles mixed up. I really should have. Through Jeshob, the Jeshob, Josh, Jashubite clan, through Shemron, the Shemurite clan. Also, yes, I don't know how to pronounce words I never saw before, so, or heard pronounced, so, yeah. These were the clans of Iskar. Those numbered were 64,300. These descendants of... Zebulun. Oh, that's the tribe I'm most interested in for some reason. It's mostly because it starts as a Z. What is there anything around? By their clans were through Sherdin, the Sherdinai clan, through Elion, Elin, Elan clan, through Jilo, the Jilite clan. These were the clans of Zebulun. Those numbered were six. D thousand five hundred. Whew. Also, if you're wondering where the probably the other lost tribes of Israel are just mixed in with the Jewish population, we just call them all Jews as a blanket statement, even though technically that's not true. <laughs> and probably some Sumerian and maybe a few others, but mostly they're probably already Israel. We just called them Jewish. Even though Jewish we should only refer to. Anyway, that's a tangent. The descendants of Joseph by their clans through Manasseh and Ephraim were the descendants of Manasseh through Mer Markra, the Marakite clan, America, America, Mark Makra, Cry or Mechrier was the father of Gled, through Gled, 
the Gledite clan. These were the descendants of Gled through Lazar, the Lazarite clan, through Helica, the Helicite clan, through Azrael, the Azraelite clan, through Shemshim, the Shemshrite clan. Actually, if you are of Jewish descent and you have any idea of what happened to the other tribes of Israel, or you're just into biblical stuff, please just share your ideas. Or conspiracy series, it's fun to have a good laugh. But your ideas so of what happened to them. Anyway, Shemadai of the the sh through Shemadai, the Shemanite clan, through Hefer, the Heferite clan, Zelopinad, son of Hefer, had no sons, he had only daughters, whose names were Merla, Noah, yep, Noah. But Noah is a boy's name. This is what I think. There weren't boys names back then, or girls names, unless the word you were referring to was something you, these are stereotypically boy, male, stereotypically female, or quite obviously male, in maybe some ways, or quite obviously females in some ways. Um, Anything other than that, because these names actually mean something, or like attributes of your children. There aren't any boys or girls names. So why can't Noah be a girl to name? Be a name of a girl, I think it's like Peacemaker or something? Bringer? I don't remember exactly what it means, but can't girls do that too? So yeah, Noah. So. If you're a girl named Noah, I don't know how, I don't know how one, but <laughs> if you are, there's a biblical female character named after that has the name Noah. Do with that as you will. Or if, or if you're a girl with a traditional boy's name, or a boy with a traditional girl name, I could do with this as you will, I guess. Helgala, Melka, and Tazra. Okay, this will be important later. Not the random tangent about boy and girl names, but these this guy who only had daughters. These were the clans of Manasseh, those numbered were 52,700. These were the descendants of Ephraim by their clans. Through Shomethra, the Shulamite clan, through Becker, the Becherite clan, through Taran, the Tenorite clan. Tehan, yeah. These were the descendants of Shothrasha through Aaron, Iran. The Uronite clan, these were the clans of Ephraim, those numbered were 32,500. And you can to see how big Jacob or Joseph's clan is to try this together if you feel like doing the math. I'm not good with math in my head. These were the descendants of Joseph's of Joseph by their clans. <laughs> Joseph's is split up because Israel or Jacob adopted his grandkids, which is a little strange. Anyway, the descendants of Benjamin by their clans were Bella, the Bella, through Bella, the Bella clan, through Ashbel, the Ashbelite clan. Also, can you imagine how long this video is? If I spelled out every name, we'll be here. This would be part of one video. Through Eraim, the Emirate clan, through Shum fam. But wait, a few manuscripts of the Masonic text, Sumerian Penetrate, and Vedgalate, and Cyrillic, Cyric, whatever. See also Septuagint. Most manuscripts of 
Masonic text, Shephanumphim. Ooh, they add a U in there. They add like an extra PH. Okay. The Shephanite clan through Hufam. The Hufanite clan. The descendants of Bela, Bela, through Ered, and Naaman were Ered. <sighs> Samaritan Pentachar Vague, see also, also sub 2 the Amanda text does not have through Ered. Okay. The Ererite clan. Through Naman, the Namite clan. These were the clans of Benjamin. Those numbered 45,600. Yes, it's not in order, but notice something. I think it's like in order of his ones he had through his actual wives and through. And it's the uh, ones he had through his extra marital. Affairs with their servants. Anyway, these were the descendants of Dan by their clans through Shem Shumham and the Shumai clan. These were the clans of Dan. All the the all of them. Were Sh Shumite clans, and those numbered were sixty four thousand four hundred. Oh, the last one was forty five thousand six hundred. If I forgot to tell you, wow, Dan, you you're kind of disappointing. Have more. You should have had more kids. So I don't know why it says Dan and Dan, not Daniel. So apparently, no, Daniel is not short. Dan, Dan is not short for Daniel. It sounds like. Anyway, the descendants of Asher by their clans were through Emmaniah, the Emmanite clan, through Eshva, the Eshvazite clan, through Beriah, the Berite clan, through the descendants of Beriah. Through Heber, the Heberite clan, through Mechali, the Mechali clan, Asher had a daughter named Sira. Okay. These were the clans of Asher. Those numbered were 53,400. Also, you can go back and compare these numbers with the first into this if you want. The descendants of Nephetal by their clans were through Jezreel. The Jezreelite clan, through Ganai, the Ganai clan, through Jez Jazer, the Jazerite clan, through Shemiel, the Shemelite clan. These were the clans of Nephetel, those numbered 45,400. <laughs> the total number of the men of Israel was six. Six hundred and one thousand seven hundred and thirty. So that's how many warriors they had who could fight. So also, yes, we start them off a little like young with draft. The Lord said to Moses, "The land is to be allotted to them as an inheritance based on the number of names to a large group." Give a large inheritance to a smaller group, a smaller one. Each is to receive its inheritance according to the number of those listed. So, more people you have, the bigger amount of land. The less people you have, the less amount of land. Maybe we should rearrange. No, that, that, that would be bad, forcing people. No, that's a horrible idea. Trust me, it is. Removing people, not the whole... Just starting out that way. Well, I guess we could rearrange the stand. No people to have to vote. I guess we're just stuck the way we are. Oh, well, because... 
Well, at least they're starting from something better. Be sure that the land is distributed, distributed by lot with uh, each group inheritance will be according to the names for its ancestral tribe. The bigger, more people you have, the bigger land, the less people you have, less land. Makes sense. You don't need as much land. You need more land if you're bigger. Each inheritance is to be distributed by lot among the larger and large and small the larger and smaller groups. If you think we're done. Oh no no no. We're not done. What is it? It's not even a lot. What? I bet it's been Re <sighs> yeah, these were the Levites. Yeah, if we remember. We for didn't leave. We leaved out the Levites. Didn't get counted yet. These were the Levites who were counted by their clans. So yes, yeah, so all you people were like, that wasn't 12, well here's the 12, through Geshron, the Geshronite clan, through Korath, the Korathite clan, through Miriah, the Miriah clan, these were the Levite clans, the Lebanite clan, the Hebrite Hebronite clan, the Menelite clan, the Mushite clan, the Korathite clan. Korath was the father of Amron. The name Amron, the name of Amron's wife was Jacques Ebed, a descendant of Levi, who was born to the Levites. A Jebabed, daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi. Okay. In Egypt, Aram, to Aram, Aram, she bore Aaron and Moses, Aaron and Moses, and their sister, Miriam. Aaron was the father of Nebed, Nedeb, and Elior, Elizer, and Ithamar, but Nibdeb and Elior, El Abuah died when they made an offering before the Lord with unauthorized fire. <sighs> Don't do that. All the male Levites, a month old or more, numbered. 23,000 So technically when it comes to priesting we try start them off to old Like you start become practicing becoming a priest back in ancient Israel at the age of a month Those that's how you get counted. Unless you're a girl. Anyway. They were not counted along with the other Israelites because they received no inheritance among them. So, oh, so yeah, if you're a girl, Levite, you're not going to own any land. But to be fair, if you're a boy, Levite, you're not going to own any land either. These are the ones counted by Moses and Elizer, the priest, when they counted the Israelites on the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. Not one of them was among those counted by Moses and Aaron, the priest, when they counted the Israelites in the desert of Sinai. So, in other words, 
All of them have died. <laughs> yeah, you think we would have... No, we kind of just skipped the, 40, the entire 40 years if you were wondering why they're go starting to go up. Because the 40 years are over. Like, what did you think? It was just don't be poor entire bits of the Bible just like... And they wandered in the desert. Some died. They wandered in the desert. Some more died. For the Lord had told the Israelites they would surely die in the wilderness and not one of them was left except Caleb son of Jephaniah and Joshua son of Nun. Yeah. Also, yeah, the Levites get no inheritance. In other words, the Levites don't really own land. So if you're a boy and a Levite, you literally just become a priest. Help stack. Well, depending on where you are among the Levites, you become a priest and help sacrifice things or help with other things. Minister and things. You don't own any land, really, sort of. You get no inheritance. I guess you, in some ways you kind of do. But then if you're a female, if you're a girl, you don't sacrifice in sacrifice ministries. You just do things. I guess. Yeah. Anyway, 1044. Whew. Puppy.